tager en deko her i dag besøg af Pasha Lucha Jin fra Rusland, som vi har hils på tidligere. Han har spillet for os i Slagelse i Oppelhed. I was just explaining to the audience that you come from Russia and that we have met before. And um, Pasha, it's good to see you again. just uh, demonstrated some of your uh, guitar works, some of the songs you have uh, composed yourself. Yeah. Would you like to tell me a, bit, a little about uh, the songs you have composed yourself? Uh, my original song. The original song, okay. yes. Well, uh, mostly I'm inspired by Tommy Emanuel and Chad Atkins, so it's quite similar, but I'm trying to add something Yeah, you can hear the influence in your playing. Yes, 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 but still I, I'm trying to get out of the, that area when everyone plays like Tommy Manning, but it's not easy to do when you have yeah. influenced by him. Okay, so you were trying to get out of the, the, yeah, yes, the shadow. It's, it's not an easy thing. No. <laughs> but was, he, he, uh, was he your first uh, guitar hero? Uh, no, I think I started to listen to bands like Deep Purple, so uh, it's at my very start it was like rock, blues music, yeah. then I switched to f jazz fingerstyle. Then I discovered Tommy Emanuel like three years ago, I think. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Mostly uh, through internet and YouTube. Okay. People know. Okay. Yes. Um, and um, I can also see the Tommy Emanuel influence on your guitar because it's a Machon guitar made in uh, Austria or Australia. 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 Yes. <laughs> so, um, would you like to? Uh, what, what kind of guitar is this then? Uh, I can see the autograph. The, that's a Tommy Emanuel sign here. Well, actually, that's a Machon guitar from Australia. It's like three years old. Okay. It's a very typical, uh, typical. 808 series guitar, it's, it's great for fingerstyle. Yes. It's not that good for strumming and you know, playing songs, but it, it's just perfect guitar for fingerstyle. The action is really, really low here, so oh it's yeah. so easy to play and it, it has a lot of sustain. <laughs> is different about the finger style uh, compared to other styles of guitar picking or playing? Uh, well, uh, the, f um, the main thing for me is uh, that you, you can be really independent, like you're just going on stage and playing alone and solo. You, you, yeah, solo and you can be oh. like a whole band in one box. So oh. that, that's what import really important oh. for me because it's so hard to find the right people uh, and they should follow your direction in a musical way is to understand you but here you just play on your own do an old stuff Performed a lot in uh, Russia recently, and in uh, Holland and Denmark. And uh, yes, I made I think one show here in Denmark in Slesia with Lars Derike from Holland and Casper Ashman, he is from Denmark. Yeah, and trying to find the gigs in Europe, but I, I don't used to play in Russia that much. It's it's not that popular there. This kind of music, so it's hard to entertain there. Uh, so uh, one uh, last question. Uh, uh, how do you uh, uh, learn new songs? For for example, if there's a Tommy Emanuel song you like, how do you uh, go about uh, learning the song? Okay. W well, uh, I think the best thing for me is just to go to YouTube, find the video, and or maybe a audio track, and just figure out everything by ear or 
just looking at the video so I, do, I don't like tapes that much and I cannot read shit music so you use your ears yeah mostly that's I think that's the best way to develop have you ever t- taken any lessons well I, I used to have uh, two guitar teachers uh, at the start it was a guy who was uh, trying to l- teach me you know uh, all that shredding stuff on the electric guitar heavy metal and uh-huh. you know, yeah yeah. And, different. yeah and then I switched to acoustic and I had uh, one teacher he was trying to learn me you know yeah. thank you very much uh, Pasha Richardin.